There's so many different ways to manipulate whoever you're trying to deke, whether it's, you know, a certain head fix, lateral movement. Sometimes it's just stick handling, almost like a crossover move. I think the biggest thing is not to think at all. You're just doing it off instinct, and because, you know, you've practiced so much, you don't have to think about the actual move. It's just going to happen out there. One of the most underrated parts of the deke is your speed. You know, use your speed when you can for sure, but I've always been someone that likes to slow the game down. More of like a east-west type of game instead of, you know, going 100 miles an hour and trying to go right to the net. My point of view is just to try and find that time and space, if it's a second, if it's two seconds, and then, you know, see where we are after that. Sometimes you're almost even like a point guard with the puck on the ice. You're observing the scene. You're trying to find ways to manipulate defenders, use your teammates, slow it down, and then uh, see what can open up after that. There's so many different ways to manipulate someone into having that deke work for you. Whether it's, you know, certain ways you're moving the blade of your stick or certain ways you're using your head to head fake a defender or a goalie. Defenders are so good these days and so fast. Sometimes you get the puck, you have to make a move right away. You don't even have time to think. One of the things I really like to do against a defenseman is to try and watch his feet, see if he's crossing over one way or the other. And if you can make a, a move or a fake to one side, have that defenseman cross over that way and then bring it back the opposite way. Usually you give yourself some time and space to get around that defender and try and make your next play. One of the great things about hockey is you kind of never really know what's going to happen. Goalies are so good these days, it's tough to beat them one-on-one -on -one a lot of the time. So it all depends on your fake, right? If you make a good fake, you know, hopefully you have an open net to be able to put the puck in.